Amanda Bassetti from simplymaggie.com. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to do an arm knit blanket. The difference between arm knitting and regular knitting is with arm knitting you don't need really any supplies except for yarn because you're going to use your arms as the needles. You can use any super bulky yarn. Oh, I love this one. Arm knit throws are super cozy and thick. Most throws at stores, they can be really expensive, and with this technique, you can have one made for really cheap. And you should be able to have this project done in under 45 minutes. Good Housekeeping TV. Genius ideas made easy. Make time to make stuff. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to do an arm knit blanket. It's going to be approximately 3 by 5 three feet by five feet. You'll need about six skeins of super bulky yarn. And we're using this really beautiful yarn, this really pretty yellow color. You can use any super bulky yarn as long as it's nice and chunky and will make the stitches look fuller. But yeah, just the yarn and your arms and that's all you're gonna need. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is, if you're wearing long sleeves, you're going to go ahead and pull them up to your elbows so you have bare arms to work with. And then we're going to pull a strand from the center of your first skein of yarn. And when I arm knit, I like to do the long tail cast on. So we're going to pull a long strand, I'd say about five feet. And with this blanket, we're going to cast on 18 stitches. And so for your first step, you're going to make a slip knot. And to do that, you're just going to drape the yarn over your hand, pinch the ends together, and then grab that working yarn, which is the strand attached to the skein of yarn, and pull it through. Slide it onto your right arm and tighten it up. And then we're going to start casting on total of 18 stitches. So to start casting on your stitches, you're going to take your working yarn and drape it over your index finger and hold it in place with your ring finger and your pinky. And then you're going to take your thumb and you're going to wrap the tail end of the yarn around and also grab that with your ring finger and pinky to hold it in place. And then you're going to take your index finger on your right hand you're going to go under this first strand here, over this one, and then grab this one in the back and pull it through. So you go under, over, and grab that strand in the back. So it creates this new loop here. And then you're just going to slide it onto your right arm and tighten it. Now when you're casting on these stitches, they're going to be moving up your arm. So you don't want to make them too tight because then it's going to be impossible to move them around. They're going to get all bunched up and be hard to work with. So that was your second stitch. And your third one, do the same thing. You're going to take your index finger, go under that first one, over the middle one, and grab the one in the back, creating a new stitch, and just place that onto your right arm. So now we have three stitches. And again, cast on your fourth stitch. And again, working yarn in your tail is you put it in between your index and your middle finger and secure it in place with your ring finger and pinky. And then wrap that tail around your thumb and hold it with your ring finger and pinky. And then we're just gonna keep casting on until we have a total of 18 stitches. And this blanket is really fast. It should only take you about 45 minutes to make once you get the hang of it. When you're learning the arm knitting technique, it might take a little bit longer. And then begin pushing these stitches up so you can create more. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on to our tenth. And once you get into actually knitting your rows, you're going to want to try to keep it as tight as you can. That way there's, there isn't huge holes between your stitches. And it would kind of look like a fishnet and no one wants to lay under a fishnet. <laughs> so we'll keep going for a few more. Take your index finger, go under the first stitch over the second strand there and grab the last one. 
slide that onto your arm. And now we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 stitches. And it probably doesn't look that wide on your arm, but when you're done or when you keep knitting your rows, it's gonna get wider as you go. And the next step is gonna to be to actually knit your rows. So to knit your first stitch, you're gonna hold the working yarn in your right hand, take that first stitch over and off of your arm while still holding the strand there, the working yarn. You're gonna turn it and put it onto your left arm. And try to tighten it as much as you can. And again, hold the working yarn in your right hand, take the next stitch, put it over your hand and off while still holding the working yarn. Make sure to turn that towards you and then put it onto your left arm. And again, next stitch, over and off and onto your left arm. And the next stitch. And so for this blanket, we're gonna do about 30 rows, depending on how long you want it. But I'm gonna knit 30 rows, which will give you approximately five feet in length. So we're gonna keep going over and off, creating new stitches for each row. And keep moving it up your arm and tightening it. And some of them might be a little hard to get off. Can't get it off. <laughs> Here we go. And next stitch. And we're about halfway done with this row. Go over your hand and make a new stitch and slide it onto your left arm. And your next one. The reason I love arm knitting is because you can have a project done in no time at all. It's such a simple concept. It's great for beginners to learn quickly. Okay, three more stitches. And some of the stitches might be hard to get off of your hand, but keeping them tight is really gonna give you the best result for this project. And last stitch. Gonna go over off the hand, turn it towards yourself, and put it onto your left, left arm. So this is what the first row looks like. You can see that it's great to use that thicker yarn because it really fills in all the stitches, making it look nice and full. So to go onto your next row, your second row, it's gonna be the same thing. You're just gonna move everything over to your right arm. So to do that, you're going to hold the working yarn in your left hand this time, pull the first stitch over and off, turn that towards yourself, and slide it onto your right arm. And tighten that up the best you can. And hold the working yarn in your left hand, pull the second stitch over, I'll show you again, just over and off while holding the yarn, and slide it onto your right hand. And again, next stitch, over and off. And remember to try to keep it as tight as you can. And next one, over, off, and turn it, and onto your right hand. And you're just gonna keep doing this across the entire row and throughout the entire blanket for 30 rows. And once you figure it out, you can move pretty quickly and have it done in a short amount of time. So we have four stitches left on this row. So hold the working yarn in your left hand, pull the next stitch over and off and onto your right hand. And you really want to stick with the thicker yarns to keep the blanket looking nice and full. Another yarn that I really like to use is um, Premier Yarns 
Couture Jazz. It's a wider yarn and it looks great with um, these types of projects. So we're going on to our third row and remember to tighten that first stitch, you're gonna want to push up on this knot here while pulling on the working yarn. And take the next stitch over and off tighten it. And this yarn is great because when you lay it on a chair or fold it and put it on a shelf, it kind of adds like a little modern decor to your room. So we'll keep going, making new stitches. And when you get to the end of each row, you'll want to pull on the blanket a little bit just to kind of flatten it out and unbunch up all the stitches. So hold the working yarn in your right hand, pull the next stitch over, and we're almost done with this row. All right, if you ever lose count of how many rows you've done, you can kind of tell this row here is your first row on your arm. And then with some yarn, it's harder to see, but if you really look, you can see each stitch, like these little, V's in here, the V shape is a stitch on that row. So we have one, two, three rows, and you never wanna count the row where you cast on your stitches. So we have three here, and we're gonna go on to our fourth row. So again, just start moving your stitches over to your other arm, and tighten that up. And if you do ever want to take a break in the middle of one of these projects, this is a question I get a lot, um, you're just going to finish this row, move it all onto one arm, and then you can pick up your skein of yarn and go about what you need to do. Okay, so we're about halfway done with our fourth row. And hold the working yarn in your left hand, pull it over and off and slip it onto your right arm. And keep going. And remember to try to keep it as tight as you can. So we just finished our fourth row, and this is what we have so far. And like I said, it will look wider once you're done with it. But now we'll start our fifth row. Start moving stitches over to your left arm. Hold the working yarn in your right hand for this row. Pull the next stitch over and off and onto your left arm. And keep sliding it up your arm so it doesn't get all bunched up. And once you've finished your first skein of yarn, probably in a couple more rows, I'll show you how to add the second one. So that was our fifth row, I believe. Again, to count, if you just start from your arm, that's one, two, three, four, five. So now we'll go on to our sixth row. Okay, and to continue with this row, hold the working yarn in your left hand, take the next stitch, pull it over and off, and put it onto your right arm. And this is a great way for anyone, really, to learn how to knit quickly. Such a simple concept. Great for beginners. Even for anyone who already knows how to knit on needles, it's so much faster than knitting on needles. So if you wanted to make a scarf to wear that night, you could do that and have it done in a half hour or less. And the last stitch on this row, put it over and off and put it onto your right arm. And I'm just kind of moving the stitches up my arm a little bit when I do that. And then you can go ahead and tug on it a little bit. Now this is a delicate yarn, so you don't want to pull on this too hard because it may tear. All right, so we're gonna move on to our seventh row now. Just continue doing what we were doing before and keep knitting your stitches back and forth between your arms. Hold the working yarn in your right hand, pull the next stitch over, 
turn it and move it over. And if you want to make a different size blanket, you just eliminate stitches that you cast on. If you want to make it thinner, or you just do less rows if you wanted it to be a shorter blanket. And this is going to be more of like a lap size throw. So just keep pulling those stitches off, creating new ones, and moving them over. Pull it over and off, over to your left one. And the last three stitches of the seventh row. And then I'm just going to tug on it a little bit, just spread out the stitches. And we'll move on to our eighth row. Hold the working yarn in your left hand this time. Pull that stitch over and off and create a new stitch to put onto your right arm. And this yarn is great for like a spring blanket because it's nice and light. If you wanted to do a warmer blanket for winter, I would definitely go with the Couture Jazz yarn from Premier Yarns. It's a thicker, heavier yarn, or any yarn that's, I'd say, about an inch to an inch and a half wide. And we'll just keep going over and off and move it over. And remember to keep your stitches tight. And the last stitch. And again, to count the rows, we have the one on our arm, and then you can kind of see here that this is a second row. So one, two, three, four, five, C, six, seven, and eight rows. And so we'll move on to our ninth row. And remember to tighten up that first stitch that you move over. You can pull on the working yarn, but you also want to push up on that knot to get it as tight as you can. And then go ahead on to your next stitch. Just keep moving them over. And we're just about to the end of this skein of yarn. So I'll show you how to add that second one on in just a minute. And just keep moving it up so it doesn't get all bunched up. Take your stitch over and off creating new ones and moving them over. And our last stitch. And once you get down to, you can see here, I have just a small amount left. You're gonna wanna add on a new skein of yarn. That way you don't run out in the middle of a row. So the way to do that, it's really simple. You're gonna take the center of the next skein of yarn, which I have here, and you're just going to tie a basic knot. So go ahead and tie them together. But be gentle with this yarn because it is a delicate yarn. Tie it as tight as you can. And then for this yarn, I'm going to go ahead and do a double knot to keep it secure. And when you're done with your blanket, you can just cut the excess yarn off and then you can keep knitting. So we'll go to our 10th row. Just start knitting your stitches, keeping them snug on your arm. Pull the working yarn in your left hand for this row and pull the next stitch over and off and onto your right arm. And as you can see, it's getting kind of long here so it's starting to look a little bit like something. Next stitch, over and off. And we have five stitches left. Remember to keep it tight on your arm. And the last one. And that was the end of row 10. So go ahead and just tug on it a little bit because it will get bunched up and just keep knitting. Go 
go to row 11. And keep moving it up your arm to make room for new stitches. So we're just about done with our 11th row. And last stitch. And just tug on it a little bit. And start the 12th row. Tighten that up. So one question I get on my blog quite often is when you're making these arm knit projects, if you can use multiple colors at one time, and you can if you're using multiple strands. So with this yarn, you are using only one strand, so it would be one color. And I'm almost done with this row. And again, this is the 12th row. Okay, all right, so we're done with our 12th row, and we'll just keep going. You can see it's getting quite long. Keep knitting. And I started my blog, Simply Maggie, um, just with the idea of sharing all of my different house projects with everyone. Um, we've been remodeling a house, our house for quite some time, and I figured I'd try to share some of the different things to teach. And then once I came across arm knitting, that seemed to be the most popular part of my blog, so I've tried to focus more on that aspect of it. I have two Great Danes, so I try to share them on there as well. So the name Simply Maggie came from uh, my grandparents on my mom's side. Um, they've called me Maggie since I can remember, since I was a little girl, it's just my nickname. So I figured it kind of fit, simplymaggie.com. And we're just about done with, I believe this is our 13th row. So just keep moving the stitches over. And then we'll move on to our next one. And tighten that first stitch as good as you can. Okay, so I've been arm knitting for about four years. And um, I've taught how to do about seven, maybe seven, di seven different patterns on arm knitting. One blanket and a few different um, types of scarves. So we just finished that row and we're gonna go ahead and count again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14 rows. And you could even stop here if you wanted to because this is um, just like a small lap size blanket, something to throw over yourself. Or you can keep going, which I'm going to do, and just keep knitting more rows. So hold the working yarn in your right hand, pull your stitch over and off, and just keep moving them over. So this is our 15th row. So the first blanket I ever made, which is the one I made in my YouTube video, I still have that one. I made that video, I think, last year. And I love that blanket for spring and fall time. It's super cozy. And we have four stitches left on this arm. Just keep pulling your stitches over and off moving them over. Okay, so that was the end of our 15th row. So just kind of tug on it a little bit and just keep going. So our 16th row, about halfway done. So some of my ideas actually come from my followers. They send me requests on my YouTube channel and on my blog. So once I get those requests, I'll try to come up with something to share with them so that they can make it themselves. So we're at our last stitch on this.
this room. And I believe we're moving on to our 17th row. My followers are from pretty much all over the world. I have them in the UK and um, Canada and pretty much from everywhere. And I get more every day, so it's always fun to see who's you know, gonna be watching my videos. And I love talking to my followers and interacting with them, getting new ideas from them. And we're on our last stitch, so go ahead and pull that over and move it onto your left arm. And tug on that a little bit. And this is what we have so far. And go on to your next row. I believe this is our 18th row. Tighten that up. Hold the working yarn in your left hand. Move the next stitch over. And just keep knitting. And this actually feels quite warm on my lap right now, so this is a nice yarn. So if you don't want to count all your rows whenever you lose track, one thing that I do when I'm home arm knitting, I keep a notepad next to me with a pencil and just jot them down whenever I'm done with each row. Makes it a little easier. And last two stitches. Okay. Okay, so onto our next row, pull the strand over and off and put it over onto your left arm. And keep going. So hold the working yarn in your right hand, pull the next stitch over and off and put it onto your left arm all the way to the end of the row. And remember, when you pull that over and off, to turn the stitch towards you and put it on that way, that way it doesn't get twisted. And we're just about done with our 19th row. Okay. Move on to our 20th row. Just doing what we've been doing, moving the stitches back over to our other arm. Hold the working yarn in your left hand this time. Pull that first stitch over and off. Turn that new stitch and put it onto your right arm. And do that all the way across. So with this blanket that I'm showing you, we're gonna do 30 rows, which is gonna make about a five foot long blanket, approximately. So we have a few stitches left for row 20. And last one. Okay, so on to our 21st row. I'm gonna slip that off of your hand and over. Put that onto your left arm and holding it in your right hand, just keep knitting new stitches. Go over and off, turn it towards yourself and move it over. And we're just about out of yarn here, so we're gonna go ahead and add our third skein of yarn. You wanna pull from the center again, see if you can find that strand. You're gonna take both ends and just make a basic knot. And pull it as tight as you can without tearing the yarn. And we'll do one more. Okay, and just keep going. Go over and off and onto your left arm. Just keep knitting and moving the stitches over. 
Last one, hold that working yarn in your right hand, pull it over and off. And that was your 21st row. Just tug on that. And only nine more to go. So move your stitch over and tighten that up the best you can. With this yarn, you kind of get caught on those little thicker parts here, but just do the best you can with it. This time, hold the working yarn in your left hand. Pull that next stitch over and off onto your right arm. And we're about halfway done here. Hold it in your left hand, go over and off, and turn it and put it onto your right arm. And just keep moving those up there. So this throw, because it's such a bright color and the yarn is so pretty, can just fold it up and put it on a shelf. It would add some color to any room or you can hang it over a chair. And that's the end of 22nd row. So we're almost done here. Go to the next row, make your first stitch, tighten it up. And if this yarn starts to, or any yarn starts to rub on your wrists, if you're making a blanket or multiple arm knit patterns, you can take um, just some kind of tape and place it right here to prevent the rubbing. Just keep moving the stitches. Hold the working yarn in your right hand. Take the next stitch and pull it over and off. Turn that towards yourself and move it over. And tighten it up. And the last two stitches, that was row 23. So this is gonna be our 24th row. So start moving the stitches over and tighten it up. So when you use a yarn like this, it really adds like a modern look to any room in your home. Looks like a high-end blanket that you would find at any boutique or home decor store. And why buy them when you can make your own? <laughs> and have it done so fast too. So just keep moving the stitches over. And last one. Over and off and move it over. And remember just to tug on the pattern. So this is what we have so far. As you can see, it's already quite long. It's such a short amount of time. So you can see that this is one of the fastest ways to knit a pattern. So we're gonna move on to our 25th row. And hold the working yarn in your right hand. Over and off. Put it onto your left arm. And just keep doing that till the end of the row. And remember to keep it as tight as you can. And just about done with our 25th row. And then we only have a few more to go. So we'll keep going. Remember to hold it in your left hand, pull the next stitch over and off and move it over. And last two. So that was the end of 25 rows. And we'll keep going. Five more rows and then we have a finished throw. Just have one step that I have to show you to end the blanket and that's basically it. It's so simple and so quick. Remember to hold the working yarn in your right hand, take the net stitch off and over and move it to your left arm. And I do knit on needles as well but I always tend to go back to arm knitting. It's just so easy. I do prefer arm knitting now over knitting with needles or crochet. 
It really is just one of the easiest and quickest ways to get any pattern done. And last stitch. And tug on that a little bit. And on to our 27th row. So just three more to go. And then we'll end our blanket. So hold the working yarn in your left hand. Pull that stitch over and off. And move it over. Next stitch. About halfway done with the 27th row. And just keep moving the stitches over, creating new ones. And tug on that. And then we're on to our 28th row. Hold the working yarn in your right hand, create a new stitch and move it over. And again, over and off and move it over to your left arm. And then just move it up. About halfway done with this row. Last two stitches. And now row 29. So just keep creating new stitches. Go over and off and move it over. Three more stitches on row 29. Last stitch. Just tug on that. And now on to row 30, our last row. See how fast that went? This really is the fastest way to knit any pattern. Hold the working yarn in your right hand and just keep moving those stitches over and off and then onto your left arm. And last four. Over and off onto your left arm and last stitch. And just tug on that. And that's it, we're done with the arm knitting part. Now we can move on to ending our blanket. And that step is called binding off. So to bind off your stitches and to end your blanket, you're gonna hold the working yarn in your left hand. Take that first stitch over and off, just like you were doing before. Move it over to your right arm and do that with one more stitch. Now, you're gonna take that first stitch, pull it over the second one and off of your hand. And when you bind off, you don't want to tighten this too much because then you'll have one skinnier end and your cast on end would be wider. So keep it kind of loose and knit your next stitch and take the first one over that one and off of your hand. Just tighten it a little bit. Next one, knit one stitch. So you have two stitches over here. Pull the first one over and off. And then just tighten that just a little bit. And then knit one and bind one off. And then knit one more and bind that off. And do this all the way to the end of your 30th row. And 
And as you can see here, it's ending your blanket. So we're just gonna keep going. Knit one and bind one off. And we're just about done. Just move all those stitches down. Knit one and bind it off. And remember not to tighten it too much. Four more to go. And once we're done with binding off, I'll show you how to knot the end of it to keep it secure and then weave in the tail that's left. We have, I think, just enough yarn here to finish these two stitches. Okay, and bind that last stitch off. Next, you'll have this last loop here on your arm. So just take the tail that's left and just pull it through there and tighten it up as tight as you can without tearing the yarn. And with this yarn, I recommend making one more knot. So we're gonna go through that last stitch one more time, which is right here. Just pull that tail through, creating a loop and then put that tail right through there making a second knot just to make sure that it won't come undone and that is the end there you can see now the next step is going to be to just weave in this tail and make another knot so that you know it won't come undone So to do that, you have your end of your blanket here. Just kind of wrap it around. So you have the tail, and we're going to pull it through. And next stitch right here. And last one. And then what I'm going to do is just make another loop around that stitch and pull it through like that. And this yarn is great because it kind of hides all those little twists there. And then you can just cut the yarn. And you're done with your blanket. And I forgot one last step you have to do is to go through where you added your skeins of yarn on and just cut the excess off of the knot right here and one more and also do that on the second knot and you have to go to your cast on edge and weave it through just like you did just find that first stitch and pull it through and just go through a few stitches. It doesn't have to be perfect. Pull it through. And we'll go through one more and not the end, just like we did on the other end. And then, again, just cut the excess yarn. And then your blanket is finished. And you should be able to have this project done in under 45 minutes. This looks amazing with this yarn, and I can't wait to put it on my couch at home. <laughs>